I guess uh, sport journalism in its basic form is journalism applied to sport. Last month, Cadell Evans made history. Perhaps people sometimes forget that there's more to it than just liking sport. You actually need to be a journalist and then apply those uh, skills to the area of sport. La Trobe University's got the only sport journalism degree in Australia at undergrad level. I think probably others will follow us, but the reason we've got it is because there are specialist things that you need to know to be a sport journalist. So we teach you everything that journalists get taught, but we also teach you how to apply those skills in the sporting context. The skills that you need for sport journalism are the same as for every form of journalism, but in addition to that, clearly you need to like sport, but that's not enough. You do need to have the skills that every journalist needs. You need to enjoy pursuing a story. That's If you don't have a sense of curiosity and you don't want to chase a story, you're probably in the wrong business for a start. Then you've got to enjoy writing. Writing is the foundation, I'm strong on that. So you need to be a good, strong, solid writer. It doesn't mean you need to be the world's best, but you need to be a good writer. Sport journalism students need to know about politics, they need to know about police reporting, they need a working knowledge of the legal system. It is unbelievable now how many areas of life intersect with sport. If we think about the recent Essendon supplement scandal, there were a lot of different issues interplaying. It wasn't just a sports story, there were stories about uh, procedure, about corporate governance, about uh, politics, because after all the, uh, the previous federal government called it the blackest day in Australian sport and had this big showboat press conference. So you needed to know at least rudimentary um, knowledge of all of those areas. And it's why we say to incoming undergraduates, if you haven't done politics at school, take it up as an elective, because you will need to know about the difference between, say, the House of Reps and the Senate. The legislation is passing through that affects sport. And you may find yourself, of course, interviewing the sports minister. It would help to know a little bit about what they do for a living. If you're a sports journalist, you may be reporting on one sport. You may even be reporting on one team. You build up rapport and contacts, that helps you get stories. The flip side of that is that you've got to front up to those people when they don't like what you wrote and they say, hey, I didn't like what you wrote there. And you say, well, it was the truth. Well, you have to deal with that. So there are lots of specific things that happen in sport, but you need to be able to work out what techniques you're going to use to be able to uh, be true to your craft and still maintain the rapport you need to do your job. Sport journalism is sometimes referred to as the toy department in the department store of journalism that somehow we're playing in the sandpit while everyone else is doing the real work but and maybe that's true to some extent perhaps professional jealousy we're getting to watch sport while someone else is doing the hard yards we have um, a lot of issues in sport that are serious but yes it is about entertainment sometimes and I think that's okay sport is a big part of Australian culture and sport journalism feeds into that <laughs>